Well, we had a golf bomb. Check it out. <laughs> Thank you for coming back to the McGolf Shop. Jim McCleary, most awarded certified club maker, club fitter. And if you would, hit that bell down there, and that way you get more of these videos when they drop. This is an introduction into the first of many of the golf bomb. We'll call it the golf bomb episode. Doesn't look like it right now because I'm basically coming back to the end. Uh, technical difficulties, what they were. Anyway, we're going to talk about with this COVID thing going on, we're, we're basically relegated inside, so everything gets sent to me. It's getting worked on right away. We had a bunch of work to do, so I took a topic from each one of the sets or each one of the builds that I did in order to, well, help you guys out. So the first one is going to be on, you know, we, you saw in a video earlier about me getting Mizuno, and we start talking about, well, just how... Does it, how do I get the Mizunos to fit with the Wilsons, to fit with the new levels, to fit with everybody else using the same shafts? And that's what we're going to talk about next. How do we make everything work, right? That's the question. We have all these different vendors and different attitudes of what goes on. How do we make it all work so I don't have 70,000 different shafts? Well, it's the connector. And the connector looks like that. All right. What that connector does is it just, after I take care of some of this, it just slides right over the top. Now you're going well, Jim. You're adding a lot of you're adding a lot of weight there, and you are. And it, can it affect the club? Yeah, and to a point. Yeah. So what do we do to make this and this work as a unit so we're not messing with the golfer? We have to ream this out because these all come in a taper tip, and we usually use parallel. And that's a discussion for another day. Anyway, you get through there and you ream it out, and then what you do is you bore it out another quarter of an inch and then you cut off this quarter of an inch so i basically have the same tip insertion as the shaft would so the shaft performs pretty much the same we glue that to the outside and effectively what i've done is is i've removed enough weight to counteract that so in a and i've checked with folks that when you put it that right back up on top of there you're really not messing with center of gravities or anything like that. In reality, it's like that. So if you're going to, there's just a question to ask. You ask, hey, if you see one of these, you say, hey, did I modify the heads in order for them to act the same? Because you don't want to have some crazy head weight. You know, if you're, if you're seeing irons with these crazy head weights of D8, D9, or D7 or something like that, chances are what happened is, is that nobody's modified that. And, you know, hey, if it works, you needed more, if you needed more swing weight, that's fine. However, these were not designed to be that heavy, and that's the reason why you, you modify them so that they're not. So that's what I'm talking about as far as, as far as the connectors go. And then that way, all my shafts are able to go in all my heads, and then that way we can have a de decided you guys can do the checking. It's like going to a really special fitting cart. That's what it is. So let's go and make this connector work.
And one more thing that when we're at this, when we're talking about putting the connectors together, you got two things you got to do. This is a pro tip. Number one is you want to measure the loft and lie of the iron prior to putting the stuff on. Now you can do it either way, but it, you want to make sure all your stuff is correct, all the lofts and lies are correct per the specification, so when you put the shaft in you know it's right. Now you can do it before or after, whatever makes you more feel more comfortable, but I think you'll just save yourself a lot of time beforehand. The second thing is, it, when you get done installing all of these, right, when you get them all put them there, there's always that opportunity for a little bit of glue to leak through, maybe just get a hint of off center which you know makes it difficult to put the shaft into what you want to do is go back to your machine that you were doing the reaming with and take a reamer and just run it right through it's just like cleaning it out right you're just cleaning the thing out and you should be good to go and then that way everything's smooth everything fits no worries right and third pro tip is when you're gluing it all together make sure nothing gets on the threads nothing's worse than trying to remove a glue booger right in the middle of a fitting because it won't fit on and you know that's the right head so make sure that they all fit before they go into the fitting system and that's it so let's go back so after we got everything cut we got everything drilled out we got everything reamed everything's looking Looking really really good this is what we end up with it looks a lot like that all right so basically it's all it is a quarter inch shorter right here everything's in line I did do the reaming in order to make sure that everything was nice and straight in a in a future video I did some testing and I did a review of the two Mizuno wedges of course they have that on there and I used a particular shaft I really wanted to try and you'll see that. Uh, it was a good test. <laughs> they did stay on. And so, you know, I'm very confident in the way that they go. Now, the one part I really didn't tell you on, the one part of these connectors is this was only half of the connector. The other half goes on the shaft, all right? And it's a piece that goes right here. And what they do is they interlock. They interlock like that, and then the screw goes on top of it. And this is what makes it solid. So you have that whole piece. So the only thing I'm contending with is a little bit of weight from the shaft. Okay, so that's where we're at. That's the connector as a whole, and that's what helps us guys like me do what we do. So we don't have a whole lot of extra weight, the performance remains the same, and now we have everything the way it is to spec. So now the next time that you see it, you're more well informed, and hopefully you have enjoy your fitting, and you end up with a good build and a good set. And let's see your scores go low.